Big news coming in at this hour. General Electric is joining hands with Hindustan Aeronautics to produce fighter jets for India. They have signed a memorandum of understanding to increase the Indian Air Force's strength. It is a major milestone uh, for what was being planned as the major agenda for this visit for the Prime Minister. Now, defence cooperation between Washington and New Delhi was set as a priority for this visit. The deal means that General Electric... Uh, aerospace will get an export authorization smoothly from the U.S. government. The agreement includes potential joint production of the GE Aerospace's F-414 engines in India. The effort uh, is part of the Indian Air Force's Light Combat Aircraft MK-2 program. However, this is not General Electric's debut. The company has operated in India for more than four decades, so it is accustomed to the industry for services, engineering, manufacturing and local sourcing as well. And that's the big development coming in at the moment. This was on expected lines as part of the major defence cooperation that is likely to get a boost from Prime Minister Modi's visit to the United States. Our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl is joining us live now from Washington for the very latest on this. So finally, uh, Sidhan, that deal through between Hindustan Aeronautics and GE, as many had speculated much, much before Prime Minister Modi even landed in America. Well, yes, uh, it's a done deal. Uh, it has been signed. Uh, the company has issued a statement uh, uh, where the key emphasis obviously has been on uh, uh, the joint production and, of course, export authorization needed from uh, the U.S. government. That, But this deal is something that was first much abated, uh, awaited, much talked about, uh, given that both the American NSA, when he was in uh, Delhi last week, and the U.S. Defense Secretary, when he was in Delhi earlier this month, both had discussed uh, this deal. And we know that India and the United States are key, uh, keenly working on joint production. And this has been part of an ongoing uh, conversation. India is keen to get uh, higher technology as well. And remember, these jets are used in other advanced fighter jets as well. It will, of course, help uh, India's LCA MK2 program as well, for which uh, uh, the engines are being procured, especially under the joint venture. But India has been keen for joint uh, venture and local manufacturing, especially in the defense sector, whether it is with the Russians and now with uh, the Americans. And India is keen to showcase that it is picking up. Now, India also wants to become a major export market for defense products. So far, India is one of the largest import market. Uh, but in past few years, we have seen India hosting mega uh, big ticket summits related to defense uh, to showcase uh, its uh, defense capabilities. And uh, with this fact, this is a signal, a wider signal that India is keen for joint production in the country for the export uh, to the world. And defense has been a key focus during the Indian Prime Minister's US visit. Now the big focus will be on the Predator drone deal when it will be expected to be announced. But all throughout this uh, two country visit, uh, and defense is a focus now uh, going to Egypt where the Indian Prime Minister will be landing over the weekend. Uh, Egypt uh, government is keen to get uh, Indian defense products and Egypt can be a major opening for India. Uh, for the wider African market. So largely the entire visit has defense as a key focus and with this announcement of this key deal, uh, the GE deal, which we all have been talking for a pretty long time, at least all throughout this month, uh, it looks like a wider message has been sent uh, uh, by New Delhi, by uh, Washington over how they are willing to work on convergences, especially when it comes to uh, the defense sector. Uh, today, of course, uh, as dawn breaks here in Washington, uh, we will see more and more announcements as Indian Prime Minister meets U.S. President Joe Biden. He addresses the U.S. Congress and there will be a state uh, banquet in his uh, honor. And that, uh, of course, shows that how uh, the Biden administration is willing to go uh, much further uh, to make sure that its uh, relationship with New Delhi is further solidified.
Well, absolutely, of course, defense being a big aspect of this visit of Prime Minister Modi and other, of course, being cooperation, uh, cooperation in emerging technologies as well. Uh, so a lot lined up uh, over the course of the day, Siddhant, there for Prime Minister Modi. And also some talks and rumors about a possible joint press conference, questions being taken. Uh, any more word on that? Well, yes, uh, that's correct. Uh, after uh, the... Uh the Guard of Honor at the White House, uh, uh, which of course begins at 10 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We will see uh, the bilateral component uh, starting at the Oval Office, where Vion will be present. And then uh, uh, we will see a joint press conference in which questions will be taken by both the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the U.S. President Joe Biden. We know uh, that this is something of a significant development and, of course, uh, uh, something that will be closely watched as to uh, what will be uh, the response by both sides. And every word will be carefully weighed. This is uh, uh, something that uh, uh, essentially uh, will signal how India and the United States are uh, cementing this relationship. Uh, and that press conference uh, will be uh, also a press conference that will see announcements as to how India and US are working together on a range of issues, whether it's critical technologies, political relationship, or whether it is how trade can be increased. United States is already India's uh, largest trading partner. Now, focus is uh, uh, how this trade can be increased and how, of course, uh, uh, there can be de-risking from the Chinese economy where both India and United States are working together.